we're going to dive into this story, this first story about this boy. Uh, the, the boy's name is Cannon Hinnant. And it's important that you say his name and remember his name because, of course, we all know the name George Floyd and Michael Brown and Freddie Gray and Trayvon Martin. It's important to know the names of our people. And so our first story, like I said, is about uh, this young boy, five years old, in North Carolina, who was executed, shot in the head, execution style, point blank, by a black man. For the transgression, of course, though, does it really matter, but for the transgression of riding his bicycle into a neighbor's backyard, it's only in local news. There was a story last year in Mall of America, where I think it was a Somali immigrant took a, a similarly aged young white kid and threw him off of the second floor mezzanine at Mall of America in Minnesota. There was a story that just came out this week about a black man who deliberately drove onto the sidewalk to run over three teenage white kids who had his charges dropped. So that's not anything that we haven't seen before, but it's also the elderly. How many different viral videos have you seen of white elder elderly people being abused by black or non-white caretakers, or uh, lest we bring up the knockout game, right? This is something that we see all the time, and yet nobody talks about it. The media doesn't talk about it, of course. Black Lives Matter doesn't talk about it, of course. But not even conservatives talk about it. And it goes along with what I said yesterday. This is just the new country that's being created. The part that they leave out, they all say Black Lives Matter, but the part that they leave out necessarily is that you don't. Black lives matter and white lives do not. So, let's talk about what happened to little Kenan, little five-year-old. That's systemic racism because no one in the main mainstream media mentioned it, right? That's okay. After all, you're marching and rioting and looting, and it's still going on over George Floyd and his body cam came out. You can call me white supremacist. You can call me a racist. I really don't give a fuck, okay? I speak the truth. You are all fucking hypocrites, and you should be ashamed of yourselves. Where's your white square? You're not going to put a white square up for the little five-year-old boy that got shot in his head? What about all you motherfuckers that are writing on the pages, on BLM pages, clapping? Clapping that that little boy got shot, that he deserved it because he was white. You fucking disgrace. The Democrats, the liberals, all of you, you are the racists. You are destroying America, every last single fucking one of you, and you will not be voted in. Trump 2020, motherfucker, fuck out of here. Fucking crickets. This past Sunday, a five-year-old riding his bike was shot point blank by a 25-year-old man in North Carolina. You probably have not heard of this event because the majority of the mainstream media has failed to report on it. And the reason the majority of the mainstream media has failed to report on it is because it doesn't fit their political narrative. After all, it was a white little boy who was shot by a black man. However, if the races were reversed, this is the only thing that anyone would talk about for months to come. Let that sink in.